how's it going? So, how do you actually access? So, look, we have. Oh, whoops, I'm in the wrong one. So, we have two values that are missing. So, naturally, we do. What do we do? We go to column definitions and let's say we do. So, row first name, if it's true, return this, or let's do row last name. So, this way, when we save, we will see that now, if we reload, it gets replaced by the second name. So, visually, it's here, but we cannot filter by it. You see, because it's not there. So how do we actually access this value? Because now you see there's difference between what's in the data, because in the data there is null, and what's being displayed, which is the whatever is in here. So how do we access row that has this value in it? And the way to do that is we go to... Where do we go? Yeah, so first you need to get to the column. So we do table, get header groups, map, right? Yeah, so header groups, right? So that's going to be headers array. So we're mapping headers, and this will give us column object. So then we are in the column object. So let's see what's inside the column object. Console log column column object now basically what you're looking for you're looking for column get face it row model and there's gonna be cache cache value and inside of that cache value is gonna be what's inside the table rather than what's inside the data but let me just real quick do this I just want to see what's inside the column So we're inside the column. So that's our header groups. So we're looking for, you see, we're looking for, uh, I think we're looking for this one here. It's our role model or unique. Let me just have a look. I think it's this one here. So get face it. It should be in here as well. Yeah. I think it's this one here. Let me just have a look. Yeah, it is actually get face it raw model. You see, there it is. So if we console log this, it's probably hard to see. My apologies. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So you see we have table, get header groups, map to get header array, we map header array to get the headers, that gives us access to each column, and then inside the column, uh, well this is kind of, you probably won't need this code, but inside the column we get access to the column object, we then have the column, and then get face it row model. And then inside of this you will be able to see this um, cached values basically. So you see, this is the call to get face it row model. Face 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 it to this one here. Row model. Now, if you click on any of them, let's just do rows for example, and inside the row, you will be able to see cache value. You see, values cache and Griffey. So in the original, you see there is null, but in the cache value, there is Griffey, which is the second. And that's, that's about it. That's how you do it.
Okay. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.